everybody welcome back to the craft room I am so glad that you could join me I have a couple of finished hats to show you I have a hat that is causing me problems to show you and then I have another work in progress to show you <music> So let me start with the finished hats. The first one is this pretty blue one here. Looks like we need a little bit more light. <laughs> I bet this will be too much light. Boop. Mm, not too bad. But this is a blue, I don't know what you call it, a marl or something. But this is the ribbed hat pattern, crochet hat pattern that I have recently decided that I like to do. And I have, instead of joining and starting the next row, I do mine in the round, which is a little bit different from the actual pattern. It is not done in the round. She actually joins and chains up. I don't like doing that. It leaves gaps. This is the other one that I made. This is a kind of a, a maroon color that's got a little bit of white mixed in with it. And lights just give me trouble, guys. I am so sorry about my lighting. I just cannot figure out my lighting. But anyway, that's what this is. I did not have enough to actually do much more here. So I went ahead and started my brim of my hat. I had just enough. I had just maybe a wee bit left over. I had just enough to put a highlight of maroon there at the bottom. So pretty cool. These are my two finished hats. Now, before I go show you my other hat that I am having trouble with, it's actually sitting right over there on my Addy. It's been sitting there for probably about two weeks. That's how long, probably about two weeks since I've been up here, with the, with the exception of the last couple days. But I'm going to put these in my hat bucket, which is right over there. The other project that I have that I would like to show to you guys, I don't know where it went. I will be right back after I find it. <laughs> Somebody was hiding it. It was actually behind the tablet. Anyway, this is some of that yarn that I showed you in my last video that I had recently acquired. These are those two different shades of pink. You can see it a little bit better. This one's a little bit darker than this one. Not a whole lot of difference. But Ella from No Catchy Name posted a video. It was her No Catchy Name video that she had made a um a bag and when i seen that bag i literally stopped the video and i went to check out that pattern and i grabbed these two yarns and i started the bag so i will definitely put a link to it down in the description box below so you guys can go check it out as well because i thought this would be a perfect pattern for a walker caddy for the nursing home donation something that I I said I would help out with and if anybody wants to make bags whether you knit them crochet them sew them whatever and are able to send them to me I will add them to my donation when I take or you know take this in or give it to my friend that works there but anyway this is what I had this is actually two colors held together it's really hard to tell that there's two separate colors there but trust me there is and that's where I, I'm at so far. I'm on this end, actually going back around this way. But yeah, it's really cool. I really like it. And I think it will work out pretty good. There's, I mean, it's supposed to be able to stand up on its own once it's done, which I think it probably will. So yeah, pretty excited. Looks about the right size to put a magazine or a book in. So something small doesn't have to be big and extravagant but I'm looking forward to finishing this and seeing what my friend thinks about it so the next project like I said is over here on my Addy I'm gonna have to take you guys over here and show you what's going on so I apologize ahead of time for any movement or motion sickness quick movements that might happen that uh, might not make you feel too good but the deal is, I was using <clears throat> this vintage yarn. Oh my gosh. 
It's right here. This is some that I got in a donation several weeks back. And if you guys watched that video, I told you that my grandma had made an afghan out of this same exact coloring of yarn. And that afghan was always on the back of the couch. Number one, because it matched the couch. And number two, I think it's because it, my grandpa liked it. But anyway, I decided to use this. And I'm going to use the whole ball to uh, make an Addy hat. Now this has had several... I don't know, can you see that? Yeah, just barely. These have had several areas that were knotted together that I have already worked through. I have started this hat two times. The first time, obviously. And all went well. And I'm not sure... I think I dropped a stitch or something happened. So I had to take it off and start over. The second time that I started it, um, I'm not sure what was going on. I wasn't paying attention or something and I had this big old long string that was not knitted in. So I took it off, rolled it back up. I am currently sitting on row 82. And then this happens. Do you guys see the problem here? I was going along so good everything was going really well and then I noticed that the yarn was split and there's only two strands out of the four that was catching on the loops because it's broken and I got to look and then it goes back several needles back to where it is you know broken like that so I'm gonna have to snip my yarn take this off roll it up and start all over again However, I must say, that looks pretty cool. That looks really cool. Definitely screams 1970s. And one last project to show you guys. You're probably curious. I have been working on this off and on. Um, not a whole lot, more so off than on. But I have been working on it occasionally. The um, Murray Maxim knit of the month club shawl that I got. Mine is actually called the newspaper shawl because I got the grays for the stripes, which I'm okay with that. And just to let you all know, I have currently unsubscribed from that because we have some bills that we need to pay off. So I figured that extra $25, well, it's more like 26, would be more important going to that than buying yarn when I've gotten more than I know what to do with at the moment. So that's what I've done with that. And this is what I have so far on this. Every now and then I take it out and work on it. Got a little stitch marker right there. That's where I was at, approximately where I was at the last time you guys seen it. I do not know how many loops I have across my needles. I haven't counted them recently, but I know I need to go now until I have 50 loops before I change colors so and I've stopped keeping track of what row I'm on because I've done this enough that I know what row I'm on and where I'm at stitch wise so that's a plus and I must also say these are those uh, knitting needles that I got from Hobby Lobby an interchangeable set I have no problem with these at all I've also been using a pair the eights off and on which I've not, not completed anything, I've just been playing around, but making, using them with cotton yarn and experimenting with different knit patterns and stuff for washcloths. I've not finished one, I just usually frog it and do something else. I love them. I am really impressed with those. Um, this is what they are. This is, It's the Knitter's Pride acrylic. And I got mine for $19.99. It does say 1999, not 66, 61. <laughs> 1999. And like I said, when I got them, I noticed that there was another one underneath of this that had a higher price on it. So I don't know if their price went up or if it was just a pricing error. But this is what the actual kit looks like. As you can see, I've got two pairs out. And it has uh, three or four. It has three different size cords. It's got a 24 a 32 and two 40 inch cords to um, use these with and like I said so far I have been totally impressed with them I have not had any problems at all with them so anyway I'm gonna hop off of here and get to work on one of my projects
maybe the Addy, maybe something crochet. I don't know. I'll come up with something. But I want to thank you guys for joining me, and I will see you right back here for my next video.